Hi everybody, thank you for pressing play on the video today. It's Caroline here from craftycarolinecreates.com. How are we all doing? Hope January isn't dragging too much. It is actually really dragging for me. But hopefully I cheered up some people um, this week and brightened their January because um, they should have received their thank you gift for shopping with me in December. Everybody got a brand new stamp set from the Spring Summer Catalogue. And then I always send out a little bit something else which I try to wrap as nicely as I can um, and this is what I came up with for this month using this absolutely stunning new DSP and uh, a gorgeous new stamp set and um, lovely free ribbon we all like free ribbon let me show you that ribbon this is the celebration ribbon trio pack ribbon trio pack even so you get this gorgeous shimmery calypso coral you get this thinner but equally gorgeous shimmery Bermuda Bay and you also get, which I haven't actually used yet, let me open it and show you, um, you also get some beautiful, if I can get the cellophane off, there's also some lovely silvery basic grey ribbon as well. And you can get all those free, remember, if you spend £45 um, between now and the end of March. So let me show you the gift and what the project is we're going to be making today. So there's a nice folder made from this beautiful DSP. The, this is a belly band, so the ribbon and the little stamped thank you slide off. And inside, everybody that shopped with me got a pack of these Tutti Frutti sequins. And remember, this is as well as a stamp set, just for shopping with me. And then on this side, there's a little sort of pull-out little note card, which I could write a little note saying, you know, thank you for shopping. I, I really appreciate it, because I do appreciate all of my shoppers. So that was the little gift pack that they got. And of course, you could use this for so many things. You could obviously put a letter in here, some photos. I popped in these little sequins, but you know, some chocolate, um, hot chocolate, tea bags, face masks, so many things you could pop in there. And I'm just going to slide on this again. And I just love the way the, the um, monochromatic paper just pops with that little flash of colour. And I know, hopefully, um, customers will like that pattern too. But I'm going to show you how to make it. It's absolutely so, so simple. So you're going to start off with a piece of designer series paper. This is this has been cut wrong, Caroline. This should measure 11, um, 11 by 6, and for some reason it measures 10 by 6. I'm going to go and cut some more the right size. Let me just see. Oh, maybe I picked up the wrong piece and I was using this for something else. Okay, so that one measures 12. So I'm just going to cut that down. Give me a second cut that down so I'm just going to cut an inch off ooh, ooh, ooh. good prepping isn't it good prepping right so now I have this DSP gorgeous spots gorgeous flowers really beautiful paper um, and my scoreboard bop, bop, bop. here we go and we're just going to do a little bit of scoring let me lift you up a touch we're going to score it at one inch at five and a quarter inch, five and five eighths of an inch, and at ten inches. Okay, super straightforward. Score and burnish those, fold and burnish even, <laughs> excuse me, fold and burnish those score lines. There we go. There we go. And then I'm just going to use my fuse, whoa, my flying fuse. I'm just going to put a little bit of fuse on each corner and then just fold that over. And that makes you a nice little pocket. Okay, I'm going to do the same here and just fold that over. And you've got that nice little pocket on both sides. And you can see how that folds up to make a cute little wallet. The decoration, we are going to use um, a top stamp set pick from me um, in the new catalogue. Petal palette. Get these gorgeous images and fabulous sentiments. And you get both, you get two um, boxes effectively when you buy this stamp set. Really, really useful. We're going to use the little birdie. I'm going to use the thank you sentiment. And then we're going to use this little polka dots as well. So let's start by doing our little bird. So you will need a piece of scrap wisp white. Here's my bird mounted. I'm going to do this one in Bermuda Bay. 
Ricky. So I'm just going to stamp stamp him, stamp him down on some white cardstock. While I've got my Bermuda bit ink out, I've also got my cute port polka dots. And this is going to be for my little note cards. I have a little piece of cardstock here, measures three inches by five inches. Ink up my polka dots, and then I'm just going to put them across the bottom, just like that. Just adds that little bit of interest. Okay, I'm going to put that away, and I'm going to grab my two inch um, circle punch, and I'm going to slide this in so my birdie is just sort of at the bottom of my punch okay so just lined his beak up and the end of his tail as sort of far, far into the circle as I can get them punch that out we got a little birdie like that and then I've got my sentiment mounted and some black um, basic black archival ink ink that up and I'm just going to then, I'm just going to do it as best I can, stamp my thank you on the top above my bird. Okay. And then for a bit of decoration, I have a scrap of Bermuda Bay. And I'm firstly going to punch out with this starburst circle punch. And then I have this beautiful very underused actually this really good sort of tag make punch there we go punch that out also in Bermuda Bay and I'm going to mount my little bird on top of my starburst with some dimensionals which I had here they are I put my examples on top of them okay okay it's so just going to mount that on the middle of my starburst there we go and then this one I'm just going to fold it in half which you make that lovely pull and a bit of tom um, tombow sna snail fuse on both sides both sides of the sort of flat bit and a little bit in the center and this is my note card and I'm just going to line up that square bit so it just lines up the edge of my card just like that, if I flip it over you can see and then when I close that up we get a gorgeous little pull to pull that out of our wallet when we have our little um, message on there okay, you can do that now actually so you can pop that in one side and you can see when you open it up that nice little pull and I just love those little polka dots just gives that little bit extra and especially with this DSP actually the polka dots here and the polka dots there match nicely very nice now we're going to use that gorgeous free ribbon we got so remember you can get this absolutely free you can see it's got a lovely glittery sparkle to it and then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to because it is a little bit thinner than the Calypso Coral one you see this one is a thicker ribbon I'm going to take it and I'm going to go round my folder twice. And there we go. Make sure it's flat. There we go. And then just bring it round and you tie that off in a flat knot because I'm rubbish at balls, so I'm going to do a flat knot. I'm still rubbish at flat knots, aren't I? There we go, not too bad. Now my scissors, now I moved them out of the way because I didn't think I could have need them, but I did. Okay, snip and snip, there we go. And the last thing we're gonna do is just attach that little belly band there. And the way we're gonna do it is gonna take a scrap of Whisper White. This is the one and three quarters of an inch circle punch. Hope I didn't blind you there the light reflecting okay and I'm just going to slide that underneath my ribbon like that a little bit of fuse on the cardboard circle either side of the ribbon and then I can just bring in my little birdie line that up straight and center and pop it down 
and there we go our nice little burly band made and that is really as simple as it is obviously i made a lot of these to send out to my lovely customers so hope you if you got one i hope you received it um but as i said these are really great you could use them for so many different things and they just make that little gift card um a little bit more special i think um yeah if i can help with anything stamping up if you'd like to know about celebration if you'd like to receive a gift like this next month all you have to do is head over to craftycarolincreates.com um, you can get in touch via there and you can also shop directly from there okay thanks for watching see you soon bye bye